that just now. Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin. Beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible. I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest. Till the materia is ours. You and me both.
Y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along.
Nothing personal. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. of materia a most sacred treasure and imbued it with our desire for freedom after an eternity the materia began to stir and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The black materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The key cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least. I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <sighs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Ah, uh, I guess we're back. Yeah.
We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting him have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? Uh, no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! So, he said... I gotta ask, how do you know about this Setra temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. You're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. Well, what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Oh, it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. perhaps, though I know not where it is. And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you. However well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well, now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah.
Tanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Tifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. <laughs> <laughs> 